Okay, so what's the day today? August 3rd, 2022. Excuse me. Uh, 10 42 a.m. And I haven't worked in two and a half years, over two and a half years. So it would be two years, six months, 32 days, almost to the date. Um, I'll go to work tomorrow morning. And uh, I don't know how this is going to work because I do have gout. And um, i got to watch my weight. And I'm not taking any medication for it because I don't have any money. Um, that might change. I haven't decided yet. I'll have to see. So this job is a structural job. It's not a pressure job. But I'm not even doing the structural work. Who knows? We don't know. When he phoned me, it was about uh, it was about a labor job. And when he found out I was a, a licensed technician, he hired me pretty much on the spot. Um, he understands what's going on, which is getting smart. Uh, but uh, my mom got laid off a couple months ago. Uh, it was a termination layoff. She can't work anymore. So and we have no way of being able to pay the bills and keep the house. We're just barely getting by. So I got to get to work somehow. And nobody in this fucking town, this fascist fucking town, will hire me. We'll come up with every excuse not to. And it's pretty fucking stupid considering I'm a licensed technician and I'm not just a welder. Got over 20 years experience, almost 30. And uh, mechanical, heavy duty, millwright. And, uh, uh, fitting. Um, that experience should be carried over to some of these jobs I applied for, but they won't fucking hire me. They've given me the runaround and whatever they fucking want. This one company, I thought for sure they would hire me, but they, they didn't. And I never phoned them back. They, they were advertising a certain amount. I went for the max amount because I knew I could do the job, but whatever. I've been a lead hand. Had my own company when I was a kid. I didn't want to do any of that shit. I really didn't want to go back welding, but I don't have a choice. And he's, he hired me on the spot, so I'm going. I got I got no choice. I got to do it. But hopefully this will work out. I got to be there at 7 o'clock in the morning for orientation. And uh, yeah, I'll be working straight through. So it's a bit of a relief. Um, find out what I'm doing exactly. I'm, I'm probably just doing labor work, which is fine. I don't have a problem doing that. I pretty much grew up with a grinder in my hand, so. Um, I do have this credit card debt that I need to take care of. It's a big, big issue. It's really holding me back. I can't get a vehicle now. Um, companies like this, these are oil field companies and structural oil field companies, and uh, normally you can get a, a loan pretty damn fast because of the amount of money that you get out of it and the steadiness of the work usually applies to that so I don't know what I'm going to do I don't know how I'm going to be able to get a vehicle other than try and pay for it by cash which everything's so cheap right now I might be able to pick something up I don't know that's a big issue and the other thing is they changed something to do with the insurance and registration here and I don't like it by the sounds of it if it's true I'll have to find out about that later on down the road but my biggest, biggest fear is uh, lose my legs. That's a different story altogether. You're probably wondering what the hell, but it's a totally different story. And I just hope that my bad luck doesn't get any worse. This is a good thing. Uh, going to work is a good thing. Two and a half years, over two and a half years sitting at home on the couch. It's not healthy. And I don't care how sick I am. i got to get my ass back to work, so... Um, I do need new glasses, so I really can't weld. I can't see that well. I've got pretty blurry vision right now. And uh, any TIG welding or anything like that, I won't be able to do. Stick welding, I, I remember just at the end there, I was having problems. I need new glasses, and that has to do with something to do with diabetes. I think I got diabetes too. Uh, it's unconfirmed, but I've also got fucking tinnitus. But uh, I'm almost 50 years old, so. I'm not looking forward to welding at all. To be honest with you, I'm just looking for a labor job. And I'll deal with that tomorrow with the boss. But my biggest biggest problem is the fascist bullshit that's going on here is keeping people from working with the licensing 
program, the regulation that's going on with guys like me, uh, we're, our, we're only fit to do this one thing and that's it. And it's wrong. It's 100% wrong and I'm, I'm against it. So put this video up. It looks like I won't be drinking that alcohol today, tomorrow or the weekend, which sucks because I was kind of hoping if, if I get the weekend off, see what happens. Usually they don't work weekends. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah.